There's something special about this guitar that, oh. In 2024, Fender are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Strat. And to commemorate that, Fender have released a bunch of 70th anniversary models. There's one in this box. And in this video, I'm going to unbox it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna take a little look inside and ultimately let you know whether I think you should buy it or not. I forgot there would be a hard case at this price point, which means I'm gonna lift it out. <laughs> right, um, a lovely tweed classic looking hard case, because in this one is the 54. Let's open it that way so we can share, uh, share the joy. Where are the latches? Just there. Ow, okay, here we go. You ready? Nope, <laughs> there's one more. Oh, 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 that smell. Oh, okay. Smell, 10 out of 10. Case for sturdiness and gorgeousness, a very high mark as well. Let's check out the guitar. I guess that's the most important part. Yeah, oh, hang on. Let's, let's, it's quite light. Is any, case candy, oh yeah, so. We'll go over the case candy in a bit. Let's, let's take out the guitar. I know you're probably screaming at me to put the case down and actually look at the thing that um, you're interested in. Right, that is light. That does not, I mean, it's a Strat, so Strats aren't generally heavy. You get a little certificate of authenticity. It feels beautiful. And if you are a fan of traditional looking Strats, you're gonna be very happy with this. That is absolutely stunning. We've got a two piece ash body, maple neck with maple fretboard. That's all one piece. We've got a skunk stripe down the back, white single ply uh, cavity cover and a, you know, old standard heel because it's a 1954. We've got a six screw tram. We've got three single coils. We've got a three-way switch because it's a 1954. But if you want those in between sounds, you can get it by doing it as they did it back then before we had five-way switches. We've got volume tone tone, nothing push pull because this is supposed to be authentically 1954. It is very squeaky. There's a bit of fluff all over from the case. I'm going to plug it into the tuner, tune it up, and, and then we'll get some sounds. That's one of the most beautiful Strat sounds I've ever heard. I think that might be better than the Strat I play on stage. Okay, that's 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 disarming. Um, let's try the middle pickup. Ooh, there's a quack. There's more of a quack. Right, so I'm not using a compressor or anything, but compress that, that's gonna funk up lovely. Um, there's a lot of pick attack sound on each one of these pickups. Let's try the bridge. I'm worried it's gonna be ice picky. Oh. Instantly, 50s rock and roll. That's insane. There's a grit, there's a bite to it. What a great strat. Um, let's see if it does a bit of drive with uh, the bad monkey. Great strat sounds. Um, I guess we're gonna need to fuzz it. Uh, I'm just running through these so quickly. I'm so excited to actually hear it. Um, this is a fantastic guitar.
it does it does that really really nicely um i don't really need words i don't think i think those are fantastic sounds it's extremely inspiring to play um i'm not even noticing that the necks are a little sticky because it's new you know that's that nitro finish stickiness to the neck but it, oh oh it does smell of um the, the fender factory which i was at uh, fairly recently and i've got a video coming soon where I do a tour of the Fender Factory, and I actually saw one of these guitars, and I'm going to pretend it's this one, because there's no proof that it isn't. So when I pick up, in that other video, a 54 Strat AV2, you know, this one, pretend it's this exact one, okay? Stay with me on that. Uh, I'll link to that video when it's up. Um, I guess I should take the case candy out and try the trem and, and see how that is. Right, case candy. It's, it's such a beautiful case. It's, it, you don't really need a beautiful case, but it, if you're spending this much money on a guitar, you want and deserve a beautiful case. So we have a 70th anniversary Strat neck plate, a trem cover, as it would have been in 54, a tremolo arm, as Leo would have called it, and a lead. There, can you, I'm, I'm gonna open it up. All right, it's open now. There. That cable, I don't know if it's any good, but it looks like exactly the sort of one my granddad used to use. Or rather the guitar player in my granddad's band. My granddad was the drummer. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy silica gel. And a strap, authentic. And a polished cloth. There we go, polished cloth and fender in the spot. Loads of stickers and, well, just uh, the full pack. Then a 50s instrument information kit. I wonder what's in here. Oh, look. Truly geeky stuff. A wiring diagram for the seven, for the guitar itself, of course. Some adverts. Adverts from way back in the 50s. That's a nice, ah. Oh, instructions on how to use the Strat from a typewriter, or rather, you know, copied from a typewriter. I'm going to read that through at some point, not in this video. Um, and then a comfort contoured electric Spanish guitar with or without built in tremolo. I love that Fender. That truly is, I think, the best case candy I've ever seen ever in my whole career of playing guitar. Hello, editing Andy here. Um, turns out that when I put the tremolo arm on, I ended up noodling and just playing and enjoying myself for about 45 minutes, which is a great testament to how good the guitar is, but it doesn't make for a concise YouTube video. So here are some of the best bits of that 45 minute noodle. Beautiful. Um, you could just stop the video now and know that this is a phenomenal guitar and links are in the video description. It is expensive. It is one of the most expensive non-custom shop guitars I've ever played. Uh, I have a custom shop Strat. This is better. I wonder if it does like distortion or, or rock, you know? <laughs> Almost. It, it, it dive bombed, but didn't quite make it back. That's pretty close. I think it needs new strings. That's that's a downside for sure. There's no sticking. There's no tuning issues from the guitar, but the strings could do with um, with being refreshed. The, 
Everything I throw at it, it just makes me inspired to play riffs that I don't normally play. There's something special about this guitar that I've never had in any other guitar. And I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm going to try and find some problems with it. Here we go. <sighs> Needs new strings. Needs to have this, this pulled off. Hang on. Oh, there we go. I'm not a big fan of the single ply pick guard, but it, oh, but it is authentic. And now I'm not going to take the knobs off, so it's going to look an awful mess. Actually, the knobs, we have to look at the knobs for a minute because look at that. I've ruined the look of this strat. I have to, the knobs are weird looking. And when I was at Fender, I asked Fender if I asked Chris from the custom shop. Hi, Chris. If um if these were different knobs or if this was a new thing or, you know, this, they're different. So I'll put a, a close up of two knobs together, this guitar and like another Strat and you'll see exactly what I mean straight off. So yeah, uh, I've ruined that now completely. There's no elegant way to do this, is there? Or is there? If there is, let me know because <laughs> I certainly haven't learned it yet. Okay, right, looking for bad stuff. Tuners are great, joy to play, all in a straight line. No dings, no donks, no cracks, no problems. There's another one there, let's take that off. Let's do that in slow motion. Ooh. Yeah. Let's have a look inside it to see what's going on in the wiring cavity. Everything's got barcodes on it these days. There's a barcode on the pick guard so people can track it at Fender. The three-way switch is very switchy with the spring loaded, and it's got the Fender capacitor. Um, brilliant. It's even got the rubber grommets. I mean, they've really gone to town on making this vintage. I've probably bent the pick guard now, but that is a fantastic guitar. It's not even, it's not shielded or anything inside. There's more barcodes. Phenomenal. Right. Let's just do the ladies tights or sock foots. I don't know what that is. It's a thing that uh, Phil McKnight does that I thought I'd do. Nothing for that, for that to catch on. Fretwork is perfect. This is the best Fender I've ever played in my life. Nay, it's one of the best guitars I've ever played in my life hands down. Um, I hope this isn't a one off because of course, this could be the best of all of them. It could also be the worst, there could be some out there that are even better than this. But my guess is that this is a average one. So hopefully you get one exactly the same or better. If you're after a Strat, a 50 Strat, and you like the look of this, what, what when you Google a Strat, that's pretty much what you get. It's quintessential, I think is the word. Everything that I play in the future that looks like a Strat will be compared to this guitar. This is a benchmark that's going to make me probably sell my custom shop. Wow, okay, there is another video on your screen right now. If you want to go and watch that, there's also a subscribe button. If you want to smash that, you can do that. And if you want to buy this guitar, there are links in the video description and the first comment. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.